everybody. Hi, everybody. We're the WWAs. Or the weight loss gays. Mm -hmm. I'm Nick. I'm Jean Luc. And we're actually at the grocery store yeah, right now. We thought we'd start here today. It's the beginning of the week for us. Sunday yeah. is our start of our week. So, so we always go do our shopping. As you can see right now, we're in the produce area because that's where we do most of our shopping. Some vegetables are right behind yeah, us over see. here. And so we are going to do our shopping and then uh, we'll get home and show you guys what we do what to we prepare. What we do to ourselves for so, Monday through Friday. So stay tuned. Breakfast and, breakfast and lunch only. Yeah. So see you in a bit. Hey guys. Hi everybody. So we made it home. Yep. We we're finished, home now. We finished. It was for you guys it looked quick, but for us we had to walk around the store to get a few things. But we got some extra steps. Yeah. Exactly. Woohoo! So nothing wrong with going to the grocery store and doing, you know what? It's a, one of the things that we do, and I know this is a little off topic here, but we do grocery store walks where yeah. we'll go through every single aisle, even though sometimes you don't need anything. Although try to avoid the chip aisles and the yeah. cookie aisles because those are the, the ones, ones that temptation is. comes into to play there. But so, so we're actually gonna go through some of the stuff we bought today. So a lot of our groceries are tend to be vegetables and fruit because that's usually everything. that's what we eat the most of. So we have fruit. so this fruit, fruit. this week for fruit we bought um, we got, got some strawberries, some cherries because we love them. And Nick actually eats cherries now. Shocker, he never used to before, but now he some likes apples because I love apples. Raspberries, some grapes. Grapes. We also got a cantaloupe over there. Yeah, that we'll cut up a little bit later. We'll cut up and we portion it. So we cut it up, put it into containers that's already ready to go for our lunches. Some bananas. Some bananas. So that's all the fruit. Those we... are the fruit we have. Those uh, are, and those are our staple fruit. Yeah, and sometimes we buy kiwi. Oranges. I'm a blood orange yeah, fanatic. Um, what else? Blood sometimes oranges. we buy. Um, we'll buy pomegranates from time Sometimes, to time, yeah. kiwi. Uh, we tend to buy all, usually the same fruit because we kind of like the same ones and yeah. it works for us. So. I like more of a variety, but he can... Yeah, I can eat yeah. apples every day and but I'm okay with it. These fruit are great for yeah. me. These are the fruits that I tend to like. Vegetable-wise, we got some, a lot of various things. So we got some snow peas. Asparagus. Asparagus. For me. Some green beans. Green some beans. French cut green beans. Carrots, of course. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Which we don't only eat on the cob. We'll actually... Pour, like we'll, we'll eat cook some it on the and, cob, and then we'll off. slice it off and, and then we'll have it for the stir fries, fries wraps. The tricky one stir fry we made had actually some of the corn from on the cob that we mm -hmm. had cut off. We also got some fresh garlic and some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Oh, we also got a uh, An acorn, acorn squash, squash which we'll talk about when we're prepping stuff later. Why we get this. Why, yeah. And, uh, and uh, other than that, we also got a few extra things. Of course, the Greek yogurt. And as you can see, we are not a brand. No, we try different we brands. We try every brand. Whatever's actually, on sale. This is actually new. new. It says triple zero. Triple zero. So we're thinking, we'll, we'll try well, it yeah, out. We'll see what it's like. Uh, we bought uh, 50 pepperoni. Um, we bought light whipped cream because sometimes when we have uh, fruit or dessert, we'd like to have... Uh, and it's one point per... Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. Yeah, so, so it's really light. It's so. really light. And we do buy the light one. Yeah. Uh, we also get eggs. Yeah, eggs every week. Bought we ourselves a dozen of eggs because yeah. that's our breakfast, and we'll show you, we'll tell you guys about our breakfast in a bit. We also got some lime juice. We like to throw that sometimes in some of our drinks to add extra flavor, Just or when we make stir fries. Stir fries. We also sauces. Bought, uh, some chicken broth, some panko breadcrumbs. We we use this sometimes for. Um, if we bread our chicken. Or yeah, sometimes bread our chicken. We put it in our, our own our own chicken fingers, so that's yeah. a little bit healthier than the ones you buy in the store. Yeah. So that's generally all the stuff we buy. We also buy other stuff if you buy. Neo. Um, we drink a lot of Neo, and I know some people don't like these things because there's you know there's artificial artificial shoots. sweeteners, but it makes us drink our water. So I'll say this: in our opinion, and this is just our opinion. Do not take it from. Don't take this as the you know the gospel. We know that this is bad. But we also know that eating too much sugar is bad. So we kind of have to weigh out what we think is worse for us. And we think this for us is better than the sugar. We don't drink these. Well, actually, we do drink these every day. So this is something that, that has worked Only at night, us. though. You yeah. don't drink it at work. Yeah, this not is work. Only something all day, we drink. Yeah, all day we have All day is just water, regular water. Regular when water. we come home at night after work, yeah. we don't want to drink pop. We'd rather not drink pop. Exactly. But at least this is making us drink more water. Yeah. But And we add a squeeze or two into yeah. our water. Exactly. So, so that's that. Uh, and you can also, you know, buy vitamins and things like that. Maybe butter. Sugar, butter. You know, we bought butter. Things. We're, uh, we're a spreadable kind of guy, people butter. We love the spreadable butter. Yeah, and it's, on it's sale one especially. point. It's one point for half, half, a, half, a, half, half a, a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. So we like it because it's really low and half a tablespoon of that is enough for and almost anything. And then we put that on our popcorn. We still use it yeah. when we're cooking or he puts it, we put it on our green beans. So, yeah. so now you'll see, uh, we can't, I can actually grab, I'll grab the uh, Well, we can just grab containers yeah. like this. So, so up there on the counter, we have all our containers. So what we do now is once we come home, we take all our stuff that we have here. Anything that needs, that's, you know, here's like these, 
we put them all in separate Ziploc container or uh, lock containers because it tends to keep longer. We don't like keeping our food in the original containers just because we every they, time we it did, spoils, it spoils. And then you end up wasting half exactly. of your vegetables when you only ate like two pieces yeah. of it and then boom, the rest so of it's gone. we're going to stop the video now because we're not going to show you all, you know, cut, cutting up vegetables like that, but basically... I'm sure you guys can figure exactly. out how to So basically everything we have in containers that came from the store, we replace it, put it into a uh, proper container so it stacks better in the fridge. We also, you know, anything that needs to be prepared like a cantaloupe, we actually will cut it up now, have it and we'll all show ready. it to you guys when we prepare it, yeah. how, like what we do. Yeah. Everyone cuts it a little differently, but... Yeah. It's pretty simple. So we'll, we'll put this stuff away first and then we'll come back and show you guys the stuff that we do to prepare for the week, okay? What our actual breakfasts and lunches look like. Yep, so we'll be back shortly. See you in a bit. So we just finished uh, putting away most of the food. Everything's in containers now yep. in the fridge. So all our strawberries, everything's been rinsed, everything's been washed, everything's ready to go for our lunches. We don't have to do anything more throughout the week. Cantaloupe has been cut. Uh, the trick that John wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. I cut my cantaloupe in half. I take all the seeds out. I then slice it into longer parts. And then what I do with the with the actual um, peel still on, I then slice it into smaller chunks. And then I take my knife and run it through right along the bottom of the peel. And then it comes out into these perfect little chunks. So you have great chunks. If you want to cut them smaller, you can. But I like them this size. I'm gonna actually have a piece. So that's the one thing that we do. So prep all the vegetables and fruit, everything's mm -hmm. ready to go. Um, another thing that we're doing right now behind here, so we have eggs that are boiling, so John's gonna cook right here. So we have 10 eggs boiling. Uh, we have, we'll talk about our, our full breakfast and lunch routine in a, in a bit, but we just get the eggs, 10 eggs ready. We also have quinoa um, that we're making. And again, we already showed you guys on our quinoa rest, uh, stir fry uh, video that we, um, make quinoa all the time, always have it ready to go. So we made some extra quinoa, we're we'll making extra quinoa for today for the entire week. Um, another thing that we're actually doing is um, we eat popcorn for the week, one of our major snacks. And we don't buy it pre-made, we tend to prefer popping it ourselves. And so we actually have this fancy little tool that we bought at Walmart. It's a microwave safe um, container. popcorn container. Um, what you do is you put a quarter cup of kernels, and we buy the white kernels at uh, Bulk Barn because there's no... Hollis! Hollis, so you get less stuff stuck less in your teeth. Less stuff stuck in your teeth. And what you do is you put a quarter cup in this, and you put the lid on top, and you put it on the microwave for two minutes, and it'll pop all the kernels. And what we do is we keep doing that until we fill the entire container. Technically, the instructions say you can put oil in it, you can make flavored pop or blah, blah, blah. We have done it without yeah. oil, and it pops just and, fine. And it makes it less, you know, less oil, oil adds points. So when well, you have to think about it, four cups of popcorn is four points. Yeah. And then if we put, like we were telling you guys earlier, our one tablespoon of butter, boom. Yeah. There's five points. Half, half, a, tablespoon of half a tablespoon of butter. Yeah, there's there's five that. points for the, for the snack. Five points for so the we snack. So oh, we always have to make sure that our container of popcorn is full every week. We have a full container. So that way it's in in the cover. And ready to go. We know we have it ready to go. We don't have to worry about making popcorn. Something else that we make yeah. is, um, this one? Yeah. Another thing we're making right now is that garlic and hot pepper paste that we make all the time because Nick like hot peppers. These are actually habaneros that we grew in our own garden. garden. So these, this is going to be very spicy, but yeah. we put a lot more garlic. I put an entire, um, I don't even know what you call it, in goose. I know it in French, but I don't know. That's the clove. A clove? Yeah, I guess the whole, the whole, the whole thing. The whole garlic. A bunch of cloves. Yeah, a bunch of cloves. A, a, anyway, so then... If anybody knows what it means, put it in the comments Let us know. Because, teach us. Teach, yeah, us. teach us. So he's going to pulverize that and create a paste. And something else that he also, John Luke, uh, gets ready is um, we have, he buys an acorn squash. What is an acorn squash? Uh, I think that's an acorn squash. So uh, with this, he puts uh, spices in it and bakes it in the oven for at least a good half hour to 45 minutes, at least right? half hour. So he bakes it, and then when it comes out, it's, it basically becomes more like, like a paste. Well, it becomes like mashed. mashed. I make yeah, a, yeah. Mashed, yeah. a mashed mix with it. I add a little bit of brown sugar splendid to it, and then that becomes my condiment in my wraps, yeah. which I'll show you guys. So zero points again. again. So we, he's gonna fit do some right now. So he just put in, where do you put it on there? I'm so, putting the sriracha chili lime spice Okay, so here. sriracha chili lime. So I, I like it spicy, I'll so. Show them. So sriracha chili lime from Clubhouse. And, and also- Put it to your flavor. Yeah, like, whatever you, don't, you like. You don't need to follow my flavors. This one's the Italiano spice, which I like. Italiano. And then this is the red pepper, roasted red pepper garlic that I like as well. 
So it looks like that. So you just basically, you spray it on top and you just throw it in the oven 45 minutes. Yep, 45 and minutes. When it comes out, you scoop out the inside and there you go, you already have something to put your wrap. I don't eat it because I don't personally like squash, but he loves it and it adds an extra taste and it actually extra Flavor that I mentioned to, your, to our lunches, which like we said, we, we will talk about in a bit. So that's basically most of the stuff that we prep that's not, uh, when we don't have chicken made, so like we said in the-, the Popcorn's pre- done. See, popcorn's ready. So when, when uh, we don't have chicken pre-made, we've already made some, uh, we already have some ready from we went some a few days ago. So normally if we don't have chicken ready, we would, we would prep that as well. We would make chicken because we have that for breakfast. But we do have chicken pre-made yeah. already, just to so. show you guys. Our pre-made chicken is already in a container in the fridge. So we know that if we need to eat something quick, we always yeah. have it handy for us. It. But it's also always ready for our breakfast and our lunches. Yeah. So that's basically the stuff we prep. And next up, we will be talking about our mm-hmm. our lunches and our breakfast, what we put in them, and we'll actually make if, make our lunches for you guys. And then you'll see exactly what we eat. So uh, we'll be back in a bit. Right? Huh? See you in a bit. I'm making more popcorn. <laughs> so we're now done our prep. Um, so busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. So our popcorn's done. Woo-hoo! See. We have a container. container. Popcorn. No butter on that. No it's butter. just, just pure pop, popcorn. popcorn. Uh, it's almost, also, his acorn squash came out. It came out, I smashed it up, I added about a tablespoon of splendid brown sugar and just left the spices that were all on it. Because those spices actually dry up on top of it and then when you mash it together it just becomes a really yummy, and it yummy, yummy like condiment. It, it becomes also like part of the squash itself, yeah. right? It kind of it soaks in. Yeah, so. it, it, it gets embedded into it. So and then the other good. thing that John was finished preparing was he was doing this in the food processor. Our this, mango habanero, not mango, no, ha, our, our habanero uh, uh, garlic, garlic mix. mix. So We usually use different peppers, but these are the habaneros that we, like we said earlier, we grew, grew in our garden. garden. So we and, we and this is usually a base for stuff like when we make stir fries. Yeah. Or, and I think in our stir fry recipe that we did, quinoa stir fry, we talked, we put some of this in there. So this is yeah, how had a different this, kind. Yeah, but this is how we make it. We just prepare it ahead of time so it's ready for the, the beginning of the week. And you'll notice a lot of the stuff we do is, is pretty much, um, we tend to do stuff from scratch. We, we notice, as we've been doing this, uh, this journey, that, uh, it's easier to do stuff from scratch. It's also healthier to do stuff from scratch. Right, much healthier because, to do uh, from scratch. Because you know what? Um, scratch means that you have the nutrients that you're trying to get from your food, and you don't have preservatives. There's not stuff added in there to keep it lasting longer because you have, you're doing it from fresh. That's why we make our salsas from scratch, our sauces from scratch. We, we've tried to embrace you know, making stuff on our own. Yeah, plant-based yeah. and making it ourselves so we know there's no added preservative exactly. preservatives. I mean, there are some yeah. always. But not as many. Yeah. So, anyways, back to our breakfast and lunches. Yeah. So now, you guys can finally see what we eat every day. So, just a precursor: we eat this every day of the week, Monday to Friday. It's the same meal, and we 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 might tweak it. We might change a fruit here and there, but it's usually the same. uh, Or the meat. It might be turkey or chicken. Yeah. But again, that's all we eat. Yeah. So it's basically the same thing almost every day. And I'm not tired of it yet. It's been eight months now, and I love it. I I enjoy it every day. And and uh, our whole lunch. Each of us is seven points. seven points. So we'll walk through the That's we'll breakfast and, and lunch. It's seven points. Okay. And so let's go. So let's start with breakfast. Breakfast. So breakfast usually we tend to have a hard boiled egg. Hard egg, which you were preparing earlier. Cut in half. We yeah. put a little bit of salt on it just yeah. because we need to have herbal something salt. on there. Yeah, it's a herbal, herbal salt. We buy this herbal it's salt. A, a spicy herbal salt. It's herbal really not that spicy, but it's really good. It's, it's really good. It adds some flavor. It's exactly. made with salt and vegetables. So you're getting, you know, you're getting. So each day we also each have a banana every morning. And uh, we love having fruits. I don't have banana. I have an apple. We, we're right I like banana. Yeah, he likes banana, banana every day. So we have that. And mine has to be cold. I don't like the warm banana. Yeah. And then we also have for breakfast chicken and, or chicken. So chicken. breakfast chicken. So like I said, it's our pre cooked chicken that we make when yeah. we make batches of chicken. And then it's just a few pieces. Yeah. So we have that for Protein. breakfast. And I know people are like chicken for breakfast. But I actually had a trainer once who said that this is probably one of the best things to eat for breakfast because I, it's, it's low fat and high protein. So it'll, it and revs up your metabolism. Energy. It gives you a lot of energy. So we eat this first thing in the morning and, and it's worked for us. Yeah. We've, been, we've been having chicken for breakfast yeah. for six months. Or eight, eight months. months. Eight, eight months. months. Yeah. So it works. Like it's something that we, 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 we will never replace because mm-hmm. we love having chicken for breakfast. I prefer it more than bacon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, people who love bacon. Don't get me wrong. I love it too, but you know what? Yeah. That doesn't give me heartburn. Exactly. <laughs> so that's our breakfast. So like I said, banana, uh, some chicken, and some... An egg. An egg. <laughs> and that's what we have for breakfast. Now for lunch, we tend to have... Um, for lunch, it's a wrap. So we start off with 
these wraps here, um, we love them. They're our favorite. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than the other wraps. They're only six points for the entire wrap, the six yeah. points. They have a garlic one, they have the garlic pesto, they have a cheese one, a chipotle one, and a tomato, tomato one. And we adore them. So, but what do we put inside of those? Well, uh, first things first, we fill them with uh, lettuce. We fill them with a well, salad. Put, first put the sauce, sauce well, in. Well, the sauce in first. You're correct. You are yeah. correct. So at the bottom of the, on top of the, the actual, uh, the, whole, the entire wrap itself, we put in, so in this container right now, this is our, our, our sauce. So in mine, I usually put some, about two tablespoons of yogurt, the fat-free yogurt, and then I just pour in some sriracha. And sriracha is zero points. So all this, I just put it on the wrap, and you, you'd swear it's like a mayonnaise, like a spicy mayonnaise, because it tastes that, it has that consistency. Jean-Luc does the same thing. He puts um, sriracha and yogurt, but. I do put the sriracha and yogurt just like Nick does, but then you remember my, Handy dandy acorn squash. Mm -hmm. I take a dollop of that. See, we said it would come in, it would come back. And I put it inside of there as well. So then when I spread mine around, I have that spicy, sweet, hot mix, and it feels like I have a salad dressing in there, and yep. I don't. I have no salad dressing ways whatsoever. Ways to trick your brain, people. You yep. have to wait, find ways think, to trick think, your brain. Yep. Um, and then so that, and then also we have lunch meat. Um, our deli, deli meat. meat. We get this at the deli counter. It's chicken and turkey, so we, we try to look for the, the better quality ones. With flavors. The ones that are more, they're at full rest, so that they're not, there's no brown zero meat Zero points. It's, yeah, zero points. Um, we usually each put one slice. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we use just regular chicken. We have done that in the past. Yeah. Sometimes we forget, because yeah. sometimes we're good to put it in, and so we have a vegetarian, vegetarian wrap. wrap. And they're just as yummy. Yeah, so we put that in. Uh, the next thing we each have, <laughs> I'll let you go first, Nick. So mine is spinach, plain, easy. He doesn't put anything else I'm in fussy. it. I'm fussy. He might put corn. If we have corn, he'll put corn he'll put in corn. it. Yeah. He'll put corn in it. However, I'm a little different. I have spinach in there somewhere, but we usually also use like a, a, a lettuce mix, or, or if we have romaine, romaine or head or lettuce iceberg, or yeah. iceberg, we'll chop up a bunch, throw it in there. Switch. Like, and that's something we were saying earlier, how each component's the same, but we switch out some of the yeah. pieces in the components. So we always have a wrap, but some days we'll have real chicken instead of the slices of uh, deli meat. Or some days we'll have head lettuce or iceberg lettuce. Or I'll have kale. Or, yeah, kale. You know what I mean? So I'll, we change it up. Like that, that's how the varieties add into our... And here I have a cu uh, not cucumber, but I'll tell you about where my cucumber goes later. Uh, we actually split up our cucumber. We don't. We think it makes everything else soggy. Sorry. So, and I actually don't eat mine in here at all. I eat mine as a snack and eat. Yeah. Nick, so oh, Nick so eats his differently. So, anyways, there's tomato, mushroom, onion, um, and I throw anything in here. I just like it. The, the more vegetables, the more texture, the crunchier it is, the better it tastes. So again, we have our wraps that we use, and then uh, that's basically what we put inside our main lunch meal. I also throw my cucumber in my wrap as well, and I also sometimes throw a cheese string in there, but we choose the cheese string as a snack mostly, but I throw it in my wrap as well because I love cheese. And I have mine as a snack. It's like one of my mid-morning snacks. Yeah. If I'm hungry, I'll do the cheese string. Um, or I'll have my cucumber slices. Yeah. Uh, I don't peel my cucumber. I like the fiber. I don't like the skin that much. Yeah. So then that covers the, our main lunch. So we have a wrap for lunch, and usually uh, throughout the day we have snacks. So for snacks, we have a few things that we have. We always have a bunch of cut up fruits. Remember we had earlier in our video where we cut up a cantaloupe? Well, here it is now. We wash all these already earlier today too. We put them in containers in the fridge and we just pull out and put it in a container. All done is, it takes two seconds to put together. We keep the hot strawberries whole yeah. in the fridge and then once we are putting them into our separate lunch containers, we then prepare them. Just yeah. so that way the strawberries don't get all mushy in the fridge. We, we, also we like fresh. Fruit. We like it when the, we also both have an apple. An apple. So we have that, and we also make a fruit dip. A fruit dip. So oh. we'll show you how we make I it. make a flavored yogurt. Okay. Again, I like. I don't like yogurt. I never used to like yogurt, but I like Greek yogurt now. I love the texture, but plain Greek yogurt alone, it's, it's not something I want to eat. And just putting fruit in it, it just doesn't do the same thing for me. So once again, I know brown sugar splenda, but I love it. But you can use maple syrup. There is even or honey. Whatever you feel you need to... We prefer this. We like prefer we've tried this. other kinds, we, yep. we've come back to so this. So again, this is what we like. Yeah. People I've heard use Mio in their yogurt as well to sweeten it up. Yeah. I've not tried that. I don't know if I'd like that. Yeah, because we don't like fruity yogurts. Yeah, we like more the vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. Yeah. So anyways, I put a quarter of a cup of uh, brown sugar, brown sugar in there. Brown sugar splenda. 
use plus train a container right into a full container of yogurt and, and then just mix it up. And I'll be honest with you, it turns into almost like a caramel. Yeah, it, it almost it feels like um, it gets a darker in color and it just adds some sweetness and you're not putting a lot in there. You can dip your fruit into it, which is what, what Nick does. I, I just eat it with a spoon and yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness. But we like, had this at parties as well. In. So when we have uh, our summer party, we actually put up fruit as a, well, we always put up fruit, but this year we put this as this side dip. And everybody loved it because it's it's just yogurt and it's, it's sweet. So it basically becomes like a sweet, sugary dip that you put your mm -hmm. vegetables in, uh, your, vegetables, your fruit in. And it's still at zero points because your fruit, you know, are zero points. And, and then we just so, give ourselves a, a pretty, not a huge container, but a hefty container. So, you and know. that's it. And, and you have it ready for the rest of the week. Yeah. In there. So that essentially is our lunches. So that's you guys prep for the week. You so guys know what we do. You guys know how we prep. Hopefully, we do that on every Sunday. Every this Sunday. This is a ritual for every even, Sunday. Even if we're out of town and we come home, we still we do it every Sunday because we know we need it for the week. But I'm going to say what we do every Sunday. Our lunches are made one day at a time. Yes. Except for the eggs are all ready for the week. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Everything else I make the night before because we don't like things getting soggy. But yeah. if you prepare from eating, we, we prepare it in terms of like portioning off everything in terms of like we clean up our, our fruits yes. and our vegetables. We put those are, but in terms of making our lunches themselves, we do make them every every night yeah. after work. After and, we come home. and I will be as honest in telling you that we are so inattentive in certain ways that every container knows has a specific fruit. Like, yeah. Each or, container, or, or yeah, each vegetable. A vegetable, like all the cucumbers, always go into this yeah, container. Yeah, very, the, the fruit CD always. Stuff like that. Well, the thing is, is what it does is it helps you get things done quickly. Yeah. You already know what you need to put into it's each like container, color. and it really programs you so this whole lengthy period of prepping things actually goes by really fast. Yeah, and and not just that. A lot of people think prepping is is like, oh my god, I just don't have time. You prep now, you save time during the week. That's how we see it. Like yep. you, you, we save a lot of time in getting all this ready to ahead We of can time. make our lunches and dinner yep. at the same time when we get home from work yep. and still be eating dinner in like a 45 minute span yep. usually. Yeah. So I think, so I think we're good for today. I, yeah. think, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, seeing what we do every Sunday. You guys kind of like walked us, you've actually been with us really for about five, four or five hours now. It doesn't look that long for you guys, you guys are watching in a short video, but we've been doing other things throughout the day and coming back and filming again. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more of our videos, subscribe, subscribe below and uh, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when we post new videos. Share these videos Please with your share friends. Please share the videos. If you're on Twitter, follow us at, at John Luke and Nick one J-N-A-N-D-L-U-C-A-N-D-N-I-C-K-1. Wow, that's hard to spell. I should have, I should have picked something easier. And uh, yeah, so follow us on Twitter. Share, retweet our tweets, you know, share, share our recipes, share, share our posts. We, we like uh, hearing from you guys. So if you guys have any comments, suggestions, anything you guys want to talk about. Or if you guys have any ideas. Yeah, and ideas. Things you think we should try doing. Yeah. We'd love like we'd to love, get some suggestions. Like we love that we got to try the plank challenge. Yeah, that day. was so much fun. Because, you know, it's something that we wouldn't have found ourselves. But we, we got, you know, we've, someone inspired us and we tried. And now we're trying to, we're, we're, maybe someday we'll show us doing the full entire Yeah, the entire song without non -stop. stopping. We're trying. I hope so. So, we'll again, see. thanks for watching. Uh, I think our next video, actually we don't even know yet exactly what our next video is going to be. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. I know that we are planning a new type of video coming up soon, I think. We we, th we, I think we, we have some it. ideas. We have some ideas videos. about, so we have two new types of videos we think we're going to start recording. One of them I think we might record a little bit later this week. Um, and then we also have more recipes coming. We have a, we've actually recorded... Uh, uh, <laughs> you just let the cat out of the bag now. We recorded today yes. while we were doing other stuff. We recorded two recipes. So those will be coming up as well. I was supposed to say that. But they'll notice we're wearing the same clothes. That'll be obvious. You're such a nerd. <laughs> I like telling the truth. So I think that's it for It today. was all his idea to begin with. Anyways, have, have a great one, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.